have the guarantee that our faith will not fail. Where there is no zeal, there is no love. We were not bought with gold and silver, but with the precious blood of Christ. God's greatest work is not creation, but redemption. And so, beloved in Christ, when it comes to the Blessed Virgin Mary, there is one paragraph in the Catechism that really sums up the obedience of faith. It's actually paragraph 148. Holy Mother Church teaches us the following. The Virgin Mary most perfectly embodies the obedience of faith. By faith, Mary welcomes the tidings and promise brought by the angel Gabriel, believing that with God, Nothing will be impossible. And so giving her assent, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. Elizabeth greeted her. Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. It is for this faith that all generations have called Mary blessed. And so, beloved in Christ, we see a good summary there of the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1 and 2. And what's so beautiful is that the church goes on to say in paragraph 149, throughout her life and until her last ordeal, when Jesus, her son, died on the cross, Mary's faith never wavered. She never ceased to believe in the fulfillment of God's word. And so the church venerates in Mary the purest, realization of faith and so beloved in Christ when it comes to the mother of God the Immaculata as Saint Maximian Colby kind of describes her as you know the Immaculata uh, the God has given her the authority and the power in Genesis 3 15 to crush the serpent's head mother Mary the devil has no authority over her which is why beloved in Christ Jesus her son, the Lord our God, gives her to us in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 19, verses 25 through 27. The Holy Bible says this, But standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So beloved in Christ, in St. John's anonymity, he represents the entire human race. And we become at that moment the spiritual sons and daughters of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Jesus gives us to her. To his mother, we must turn to her in our daily devotion by praying the, praying the most holy rosary. Beloved in Christ, she is leading this spiritual army. St. John Chrysostom said this, Jesus cared about his mother so greatly that on the cross he entrusted her to the disciple whom he loved more than all the others, showing his great solicitude for her. St. Jerome. Beloved in Christ, now is the time to turn to our mother. She is leading us in this spiritual battle. And it's no wonder why in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 17, St. John says the following, Then the dragon was angry with the woman and went off to make war on the rest of her offspring, on those who keep the commandments of God and bear testimony to Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so, beloved in Christ, what we find here is, is that the devil's going to go after those who are faithful to Jesus Christ, who bear witness to his name, to proclaim the name Jesus, and to be faithful to the commandments, to love God and to love our neighbor with all of our heart. Love God vertical, loving our neighbor horizontal. Beloved in Christ, beloved in Christ, that is the cross. The 
cross that we must carry every day. And in those two great commandments resides love, charity. We're called to love our neighbor. And by loving our neighbor, we show God that we love him. And Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Amen? Keep my commandments. There's a great story that Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen shares in his Life is Worth Living on his talk on the Blessed Virgin Mary. And he shares this incredible story. And he basically says that Jesus walks up to St. Peter in heaven. And says, Kephas, Peter, how are all these souls getting into my kingdom? As if they're unworthy to enter the kingdom of God. How are they getting here? St. Peter. St. Peter replies, Lord, every time I shut the door, your mother opens the window. So, beloved in Christ, imagine how much more you will have in your spiritual life by turning to the mother of God, the blessed Virgin Mary. Which is why I love what St. Augustine says. St. Augustine says this, What the womb of Mary did with the flesh of Christ, let your heart do with the law of Christ. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation produced by St. Joseph Communications. St. Joseph Communications offers a wide variety of audio and video materials on scripture study, apologetics, spirituality, family life, and more. For more information on the many fine products available from St. Joseph Communications, please call toll-free 800-526-2151 or visit our website at www.stjoe.com. That's www.saintjoe.com. And may God richly bless you and your family.